Hey kindergarten, go ahead and grab your writer's notebook. Today we are writing another how-to book. So I chose these things as things that I can do. Today you are welcome to add a new thing. Last week I decided I could cook spaghetti, I could drive a car, and I can build a garden. These are all things that I know how to do pretty well that I think I could teach. Now, we also sketched out the steps that we would take on the one that we chose. So last week I wrote about making spaghetti. On that same day, I decided these are the steps. And then on the next days, I did some writing and some drawing. So for this week, I'm going to give you some, some little steps and tips to follow before we decide what we're going to write about. So when we write how-to books, the big goal that we need to be following is that we need to be teaching something. So step one is definitely to teach. The whole point of these books is that you're teaching something. So if you're just telling me things that you like, it's not going to work. So let's draw a little quick picture of, in this case, I'm going to draw me teaching something. And let me give myself a speech bubble here. It says, I will teach you, and I'm going to put a dot, dot, dot. That means that the sentence continues. And I definitely need to be teaching somebody. So here's the back of one person's head. Here's another person's head and another person. All right. I will teach you. Let me give myself just like a little more hair. So we're definitely going to teach something. We also need to make sure that we are following steps. So if we tell someone all over the place, like if think about when we were teaching Mabel, if we weren't following steps, then she was never going to be able to follow our recipe. Follow steps. So if we said, here's how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and um, put the jelly on the bread and then get the bread out of the fridge and then put peanut butter on a knife and then eat it and then put it on the bread and then put the bread together. That's not how to make a sandwich. We need to go step one to step two to step three. Need to make sure they go in order. And our last thing we're going to do is give tips. This is what we're going to focus on this week. Give tips. So tips are ideas about how to make something easier. So we need to make sure that when we do some writing, it's going to have the tips that the reader needs to know in order to be successful. So maybe that's like, be careful. Um, it is hot. So as the reader is reading your writing, if they say, be careful, it's hot, they know to be careful. So go ahead and go back to your page from the other week where you decided on things that you're good at. Choose one or add a new one. So if you realize that, oh yeah, I'm really great at paper airplanes, you can add that to your list. Or if you say, hmm, I just learned how to tie your shoes and I really want to teach someone, add that onto your list. Or if you had a really great idea last week, you can write about that. I'm going to write about building a garden. And today our biggest job is to think about teaching, following steps, and giving tips when we sketch our steps for our writing this week. Now, because I used marker on this page, I'm just going to write on this page, but you can write on any new page you have in your notebook. And I'm going to write about building a garden. So actually, oops, wait, wait, you made a mistake. The title of my book is going to be how to build a garden. How to build a, that's a sight word, G -g garden. 
how to build a garden. Great. So let me think about it before I write anything. Okay, the very first step that I did when I decided to build my little garden bed was I had to go to the lumber store and buy some lumber. But I also needed to know how much lumber I needed. So first I needed, I guess, to make a plan. That was the very first thing I did. Um, so I made a plan and I made a shopping list. I think that was my first step. And then I had to go to the lumber store and buy lumber and nails. And I already had the tools that I needed. So I, I looked at my plan and made sure that I had all the tools. Let's see, I, cause I needed like a saw and a screwdriver and some screws. That was something I needed to buy. And then I also needed to buy some dirt to go inside. And I already had some seeds to plant. So first I made a plan and a shopping list then I went to the lumber store and I bought all the wood that I needed. Lumber means wood. I bought the wood that I needed and anything else I needed, including screws and dirt. And then I got to cut the wood and put it all together. So I got to use pretty cool tools, including like a circular saw and some other, you know, an electric screwdriver. Definitely not kid tools, but if this is a plan you wanna follow, you could definitely have a grown up help you with some of those tools if you have access to them. So I'm gonna sketch really quickly. One, let's see. I had to make a plan. One of the most important parts of making a plan is measuring, measure. And I needed to make a list make, that's a silent E word, a list. So, and then I'm gonna add a tip over here because I think that's one of the most important things I wanna add. Tip, and here's a thing that a lot of people say when they're, um, when they're building something, they say measure twice, cut once. So make sure twice that you have exactly what you need and then cut because if you cut a piece of wood too short, you can't make it longer again, right? So actually, I'm going to keep that tip for step number two where I'm actually doing some cutting. Hmm, what tip can I add for make a plan, measure, and make a list? Hmm, oh, so I already had some of the things that I needed, like the tools that I needed. So I'm going to say, look, that's the sight word too. Look at what, wow, all of those are sight words. You, also a sight word already already have look at what you already have so i wanted to make sure you know if i already had the right tools then that's cool didn't need to get them again step two so i made a plan i measured to make a list step two go to the store look at your list. And then another thing that I could have had, I could have done is the, the store could have cut the lumber for me. Um, go to the store, look at your list, buy the stuff. That's what I needed to do at the store. And step three, once I'm home, I needed to measure and cut, measure and cut. Um, this part, I drilled holes and I screwed everything together. That's a lot of words. Let me see, how can I make that fewer words? Hmm. Measure and cut. Oh, measure and cut the wood, right? That's what I was cutting. I'm not cutting my arm. I'm not cutting the ground. Measure and cut the wood. Um, let's see, drill, drill holes and screw, screw, drill holes and screw. 
and then put it together, right? Like I, I built the whole thing. Build, woo, the bed. So bed is what we call like a garden bed. So make a plan, measure, and make a list. Tip, look at what you already have. Go to the store, look at your list, buy the stuff. Tip, ask for help. I didn't know where some of the stuff at the store was and asking someone who worked there made my trip a lot easier and a lot faster. And they were able to give me ideas of the best kind of something to buy. Like I wasn't totally sure what kind of wood I needed and they, they let me know. Measure and cut the wood, drill holes and screw, and then build the bed. So this is where my measure twice, cut once comes in. Measure twice. That's hard to spell. So I'm gonna write measure two times, cut one time. All right, this is our plan for what we will write. I'm not gonna add pictures yet because I think this is a lot of information. Tomorrow, we can add some pictures. If you wanna add pictures now, you check out that rainbow on my hand. Um, if you wanna add pictures now, you can. So like, if you wanna say, here's my list and here's the store. The store I went to is very big. Store and here are the tools I used. Like I used a, an electric screwdriver that looks like this. And I also used a saw. I think for this project, I didn't actually use a circular saw. Do, do, do. And then you can add some labels. Cool. If you wanna add some pictures, you are welcome to add some pictures. If you don't wanna add pictures and you have enough words that when I read this, I can tell what you're writing about, that's cool too. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll write our first couple steps. Remember, your job in a how-to book is to teach, make sure that you are teaching something, to follow the steps in order, one, two, three, so you heard my whole thought process, and to give tips. Your reader should know exactly what to look out for and how to be careful, how to be safe, or how to be successful. I'll see you tomorrow.